Alright, so in this video I'll be looking at uh, worksheet number two, part number seven. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is draw what I think the front view is going to look like here. Alright, if I look at my front view, I've got what essentially appears to be a set of stairs. And so this is what I'm going to draw, right? I'm going to decide to start at this lower corner. I'm going to start right there. And I'm going to go to the left by five inches and then up two and a half inches or 2.5. I've got Onshape opened up. I'm going to click Create, Document, Part 7, hit OK. Alright, I'm going to add a new sketch to my front view and notice it creates this plane. On my left hand side, I'm going to click these eyes to turn those view planes off. I'll click front in my view cube and now I'm ready to draw. I'm going to click line, click that center point, and start by going to the left and make my initial click. This line is going to be 5 inches. When it goes up, I make my click 2.5. Um, the difference with these drawings on this worksheet number two is that now we're included in some fractions. Right? So this is one and five eighths. In on shape, what we can do is do a one, hit the plus symbol, five eighths. And it automatically converts it to a fraction. You're more than welcome to find that fraction, right? Five divided by eight. We have 0.625, so I could have typed in 1.625. But this is just another way of looking at it. This line here goes down my 13 sixteenths. This line has no dimension on it. So I'm just going to finish off drawing what I think it looks like. Now I'll come back using that dimension tool and place the dimensions I missed. This little step here is 13 sixteenths. This line here is also 1 and 5 eighths. So I'm going to click this line, click to the right, 13 sixteenths. This line here, 1.625. All right, so there's my part. You'll notice every line here is black. My object is gray, which means it's a bound object. I'm going to hit finish sketch or that green check, go to my isometric view, click on extrude, click my part, and my extrusion for this one, right, so this is the, the front of my object, my extrusion is one and a half or 1.5. Again, hit my green check, and there is part number seven, right. If you were to add now a new part, you can simply click plus create part studio and I can build or design another part inside this same file. Thank you.